Hey, it's Jeremy from OpticHouse.com. I just recently rewatched one of my favorite movies, Fight Club, and there's a line in there that always resonates with me. The things you own end up owning you. And I guess it had been on my mind recently because there is a cartoonist, Ryan Estrada. He does these really awesome, funny cartoons, and he posts a lot, if not all of his work, online for free, and then also has, you know, pay, uh, you know, pay what you want formats and, and different digital downloads. Um, you can check out this stuff at ryanestrada.com. But anyway, the thing aside from his artwork that I really enjoy are that he posts videos of his travels around the world. He's uh, an artist who, who works abroad, living in different countries, and he, he posts videos kind of showing his little travel adventures um, aside from his, you know, his artwork, just, you know, just exploring different countries, different cultures, going on new adventures. And I admire that. I'm a wannabe adventurer. Like, I've tried to make it a, an effort to get out of the United States at least once a year, and I'm going to try and travel to see a new country every year for the rest of my life. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Some years I hate it, some years I don't. But I really do admire that letting go of all sorts of things, of, of all the physical trappings that make a home life and just being out in the world. And the fact that he's able to be out in the world and continue to create and be prolific in terms of you know writing and drawing comics and doing illustration work, I admire that tremendously. And because we live in this internet age where you know people, other creatives are just an, an email or a Twitter away, I, I sent him a tweet one time and I asked him if he had to give up all of his his art books and his art you know collection you know in order to to travel abroad. And, you know, he, he very quickly, you know, tweeted back. He's like, yeah, sure. Most of the stuff I have on my iPad now, I don't really have a, a physical art book collection. And I guess maybe I, I had sent him the, the, the tweet because I was wondering how an artist gets along without a collection of art books. Now, I know, I mean, for people that aren't necessarily readers or, or book people in general, you know, you may be like, all right, I don't really care if I have books or not. For most artists, not all, but most artists I know are have at least a small collection of art books, creators that are influential, books you know that they think are are just really informative and educational. Um, some things that's just like it has nothing to do with our own style, but just beautiful works of art. We want to have a collection of that in our homes. So you may just have a small five or ten art books. Some people have like massive, massive, you know whole rooms full of bookshelves of, of, of art books of all different cultures, you know, different time periods, different influences. And um, I still, I if I see a book that I really like and I like the artwork in it, odds are I'll probably pick it up. And I still have, uh, I probably have like three or four bookshelves full of books that I've only barely cracked. Like I haven't had a chance to really sit down and look through. And the idea of giving up those books, A, I, I'm a bibliophile. I love books, even though I don't read as much anywhere near as much as I would like to. I, a lot of times I buy books because I tell myself I should read more. This is an interesting topic. This is something I should know about. This is something I want to learn about. This is just something that looks entertaining to me. So I buy them, and then I don't necessarily have as much time to read them or don't set aside and make the time to read them, and they kind of pile up. So I'd say that out of about... I think I have like six or seven bookcases, you know, a couple of really large bookcases and then some smaller ones filled with books. And now that's, I probably have only read about 60% of the books I own. Um, and the idea, not just of giving up my collection of art books, which are absolutely precious to me, but even, you know, giving up things that I haven't even absorbed yet. Cause there's art books I've bought because they are educational or tutorials or about different, you know, artistic techniques and I haven't had a chance to absorb them yet. You know, I've bought these books so I can absorb the information inside them and haven't even begun that process. And I guess, you know, the 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 tweet that I sent to, to Ryan Estrada was just, how do you deal with that, being somebody on the road? And he was just like, eh, I let go of the stuff. And I guess I hope someday to be able to let go of that stuff. But if anything, that's an impetus for me to get off my ass and start absorbing the information in all the books that I have so that I can keep the information and let go of the physical. Anyway, that's uh, all that's on my mind for now. Uh, visit my website, OpticHouse.com. Check out some art prints, comics, graphic novels, etc., etc., etc. Take care.